Hi everybody and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft and today we're going to be taking a look at the 150 litre Pathfinder Bergen by Kit Pimp. This is the Mark II version in MTP and uh, they've done a few little tweaks to the original one so we'll take a quick look at that. I'll explain about all the different pouches in it, all the, um, the literage of the pouches will all be put up on the screen. And I'll show you quickly a few bits and pieces that I can get into this kit. And uh, we'll talk about the positives of the Bergen and we'll talk about some negatives that I've found already on it. There's not many to be quite honest, but for what you're paying for, you're paying about £226, I think it is, for this Bergen. I think the original price was like up near the 350 to 400 mark. So it's a sturdy Bergen. It's a big beast. You can fit a lot of kit in it. So let's take a quick look and see what it's like. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the bottom of the Bergen and work our way up and then to the sides and we'll explain all the different bits. So first of all, I'm just going to lay it on its back. Looking at the bottom of the Bergen, you can see that it's got, on the main compartment, there's two drainage plugs. So obviously you get uh, loads of water in it, it's just going to drain out as you're walking. It's got a, a bit of webbing here and two webbing loops on the bottom. Yeah, that's the bottom part. And then we're moving up to the three utility pouches at the bottom here. And all three of these have got drainage plugs in as well. So let's just tip it up a bit. As you can see, the, the, um, the straps on them aren't dead, dead long. So they've cut them down a little bit. So you haven't got much stuff flapping around. So there's no need to tape them up or anything. They cinch up nice and easy. And they cinch down quite good as well. And get it nice and tight. It's got a heavy duty plastic. You can easily open them with two fingers. And inside of there, you have a bit of a skirt on it with a cord to cinch it in and that'll stop any items that you've got in there from bouncing it out. Some of, some of the Bergens come and they don't have this on it and I think this is a great cha um, game changer so you don't lose kit. And things are carrying these, right inside there I've got a big cooking pot. Now the thing is on the first um, the first mark that they made I found that the, there wasn't much of a gap between the, the poncho pouch and the, and the lids of these um, utility pouches. So they've moved it up slightly and you can get into it. Now this pan, this pot that I've got in here is, is quite a, it's a stubby one. Um, and it's got a bale handle and everything on. So it does look like it's hard to get in and out. But it's a it's a one it's a it's a one litre pot and then I've got cooking stove and things and that in there. But it fits in there and I can pull it out easy with the poncho pouch being full. So I'll just leave that there to one side. Um, the material on the inside, as you can see, as you can see, it's got like a little bit of a waterproof membrane on by the looks of it. So that's really good. Now I'll put the um, the material makeup on the screen as I'm talking. And then in the other pouches, I've got things like um, in here I've got me gas and I've got me brew kit and everything. In here I've got like cordage, um, a little ground sheet for when I pull over, so I can just put that down and sit on it. I've tried putting water bottles in all three pouches and to be quite honest, I don't recommend it. It makes the back, the backpack too heavy and it pulls you back over. So I use it for my small items. Like if I want to pull over quickly, I can quickly get a brew on because I've got all my brew kit and everything. And I'll tell, tell you where I've got my water in a minute and another idea for carrying water. Moving up, first of all, you need to undo the two main uh, lid like compartment uh, straps first move them to one side and then up here you've got your call the poncho pouch same again it's got some nice bits of strapping on it not too long so they're not going to flap all over some nice heavy duty plastic clips easy to open up again with the two fingers the lid I like the thing I like about the lid is they've actually shaped it so it hugs around the whole of the pouch as well. Yeah, on the top it's zipped with YKK zippers. As you can see, my pouch is chopper and the zips just work a treat. Now in here I carry a 3x3 DD top, pegs and cordage. So I've got my bag of cordage, I've got my bag of pegs and then I've got a a DD top. I do recommend not stuffing it so it goes in a round shape. I recommend 
pushing it in so it's nice and a nice flat parcel. It fits in really well. Push it, push it over a bit, and then you've got a nice gap at the side where you can put your pegs in. That's if you want to carry this type of stuff in that pouch. And then my cordage, because the cordage is the first thing I need to grab out of that system. And as you can see, my zip goes. I could squeeze a couple of little, bit, uh, little extra bits and pieces in there, but what's the point in overpacking it? And then the straps just come up, and that keeps all that nicely cinched in. It hasn't got a drainage plug on the bottoms of these pouches, okay, but if it's anything like the pouches that they've got on the green system, um, I've had soak and wet tops in there without a stuff sack and it's never leaked through into the main compartment or out into the out, out, out side of this Bergen. Um, moving to the sides, we have, yeah, side pouches. Now the side pouches are massive. You can fit loads of stuff in. They've got bits of uh, webbing going here so you can put your, um, your straps go through them and then when you pull them tight it cinches them all in nice in case you haven't got it fully loaded all right and it pulls it into the body of the burger as well so i'm just going to undo these two and then on the side it's got ykk zippers going down it's got like a bit of a skirt here as well and there's little bits of webbing while we're down so if you've got the pouch off you can add stuff to it if you want it's got two little clips on the top to keep it on place as well and then underneath it we've got this a bit of a, um, a mesh elasticated mesh pouch now carrying your water you could put a bladder in the side of here and have the tube coming over the top and then that's happy days and then what you're doing is you're keeping the water out of the side and it's as close to your back as possible rather than putting water bottles in the utility pouch I carry in here, I carry my axe and my, my uh, saw. Now the pouches are the cells. The, the top flap comes out. And then you've got your YKK zippers again. Inside of here, it is massive. I've got a, um, a big massive tripod in there for obviously my camera work. Um, then I've got my bottle of water. And I've got a small little rag in there as well. But there's still absolutely tons of room, as you can see. I'll put that in. That's when it doesn't go on top of all my other stuff inside of there. And I've still got all this room here. I could put loads more stuff in there. And it cinches down nice and easy. I'm just going to do these clips on. I'll not bother zipping it back up. Back up to the main compartment. Just make sure we're in camera shot. But what you've got here is the commander's floating lid. All right, I'll spin it around in a minute and show you how you can get it up. But basically it's got uh, YKK zippers on the top and it's double zipped as well. You can open it up right the way up. I haven't got anything in here apart from some waterproof bottoms. On the top here we have some webbing so you can um, attach small little items in there if you want or add a couple of little small pouches in and have it all nicely organised. On the inside of there we have a large net pocket and two small ones with YKK zippers on as well and a little bit of draw cord. Perfect. Just for putting little essentials in, whatever you want to put in. On the top of the lid, you have some more little bits of webbing. So if you wanted to add extra stuff onto the top and strap something onto, you could. Let's just spin it around. Right, so at the back of the at the back of the lid, you've got three little straps here. You can just pull them all the way up, and that gives you your floating lid. Now I'll turn the side, so when you put it up, you've got all that extra space there underneath the lid to lift it up. Obviously, then you fill your bergen. Your skirt comes up as well, so you're keeping your stuff inside and a bit waterproofed. Now the straps on the side here. For some reason this one hasn't got one on, they must have cut it off by accident when they were doing it but as far as I'm concerned if they're sending stuff out they should have somebody physically checking all the straps, buckles, zips and everything and it should be getting uh, checked properly. This has been sent out without one. It's not a drama for me because all I can do is, um, you know, I can just tape up half of it because I'm not going to be using the full length of it. But on the rest of them 
they've had stitched on some velcro strapping so once you've got it cinched up to where you want to you can just roll it up now the, the velcro is quite long so i just double it over like so and then just put that over and it keeps it all nice and tidy and you're not getting loads of straps flapping around and hitting you on the back of the head whereas this one would moving down from there we've got a grab handle it's got a nice solid bit of i don't know what it is i think it might be a little bit of plastic tubing inside of there and it's all like stitched around the actual plastic so it's easy to grab a hold of it's nice and sturdy but it's it's going underneath where your shoulder strap um your shoulder straps are going but you would think it would get in the way when you've got the bergen on it doesn't now looking at the actual shoulder straps themselves they're not a solid strap they're nice spongy they've got a nice bit of padding and they've got some nice bit of netting underneath obviously to help wick away any sweat from your body not be a hundred percent wicker but it does help actually and the straps are actually really comfortable what i like about them is that they come down and as you can see the shape of them so it comes down down the, down the front of your body and then goes off to the side so when you're, when you're um, cinching the straps in they, they, they stay really good it's got a chest harness on it as well okay and the chest harness has got little um, slides so you can move it up and down to, to suit your position of your body now like I was saying before we've got these straps here these are quite long and what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to attach um, adjust the top of the, um, the the shoulder straps to pull the bergen at the top of the bergen in closer to here. Now this is one of my negatives. I don't think they've done it properly because when you cinch that in, it does lift it up a tiny little bit compared to where it is now. But the thing is, you've got all this material. There's nothing to flap it to fold it away. And what they've done is they've put one of these little elastic tabs on to tuck it into but once you've cinched that all the way up that elastic goes underneath the buckle and you can't cinch this away and also I've found using this with a lot of weight in it it's even though it's cinched right the way up it's still leaning back over from the top of my shoulders and that put pre that's, put that's putting pressure on my shoulders and my back so I think that's something that should be uh, looked at looking at the back of the bergen itself though it, it obviously you've you've got a lovely channel here with some really good thick padding it gives you a nice channel in the center stops your body you like your back sweating out and um, i've had no issues with that whatsoever and i walk a canny distance into the forest to, when i come out camping and that and i've had no issues with that whatsoever it's perfect now looking further down we've got the waist strap same again, it's got a nice bit of webbing on the bottom of it. It's got two elastic loops, uh, pla sorry, not el uh, elastic loops, sorry, to keep the, keep the strap nice and tidy. And it's got a nice heavy duty buckle. And now it's easy to open up. The pad on it is really good. Obviously it's looking a bit wet here because I'm on a soaking wet ground. It's nice, thick, it's really comfortable and it hugs into your hips really well. The one thing I, I wish they would do with the buckles and the, the, retreat, the straps is instead of pulling out from the centre of your body to the side of your body, I find you get a better, a better tension on them when you're pulling from the side into the centre, like on some of the hill walking there, uh, Bergens that you can buy. So instead of pulling it that way, pull it that way in it, and you can get it right in and get it nice and tight. So I would like to see that on a future Bergen if possible. I don't think it would add any extra cost to the make of it. It's just a different a different setup to be quite honest. Right my final thoughts about this Bergen. I think it's a beast of a Bergen. It's humongous 150 litres but obviously once if you don't want that much and you don't want a big wide Bergen you can take the side pouches off and that cuts down the literage quite substantially. I think it's like is it 20 litres I think for each side pouch so it'll make it possibly a bit more comfortable as well and you've still got the net pouches at the back on the sides to stuff stuff in um obviously i've i've found a couple of little niggly bits it's nothing really major i think um it's just my preferences um i did get this bergen sent out always free of charge and i i, I did explain that i'll be truthful and honest 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna big something up if I think it's crap myself I'm not gonna lie to people on the channel and um, I think there is a few little flaws to it and um, definitely the, the, um, the shoulder straps the adjustment to pull it closer into the tops of your shoulders that needs to be amended I think that is a big flaw for me because it, it, after a long period of time I was finding it uncomfortable as if it was pulling us back even when I'm walking on the flat walking up hills it's even worse but also what you've got to remember, this is a big burgan, so you need to make sure you pack everything properly, pour your heavy stuff down the bottom and as close to the back, the, um, the frame inside as possible to your back. It's it's up to the individual how you pack your burgans, and if you don't pack your burgans right on a, on a really like top grade burgan, um, you're going to find the same, the same problems. Material wise and everything, very hard and robust, yeah. Um, I've used I've used Bergens like this for years and years and years in the bomb proof. Last year forever. Um, so anyway, don't forget check out all the links in the description. Plus there'll be a full um, description of all the bits and pieces of the Bergen there as well. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much for sending it out, and thank you for watching everybody. I appreciate it so don't forget like comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed i'm sure there'll be some more reviews coming up on kits soon and i'm starting to waffle so it's time to say to raw <laughs>